Oh hey guys, my long lost YouTube friends. How are you doing? It has been so long. I hope you're all doing very well. Um, today's video is going to be a get ready with me of this super simple kind of go-to makeup I've been doing this summer. Um, it is a minimal amount of products, um, but it's just kind of what I do to feel, you know, put together. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot going on in my life. I am very pregnant right now you guys like very pregnant i'm due next week um and yeah there's been lots of changes and like good stuff happening even though it has been such a crazy year you know but um so happy to be sitting down filming and i think we should just jump into the video okay so i have already moisturized my face i used the vichy mineral 89 it's like a booster product it's not quite a serum not quite a moisturizer it just feels so good and healthy and plumping on the skin i love that one um, and then if you guys can believe it, I have not been wearing foundation like this summer I just feel like between wearing masks staying at home so much It's really been a good opportunity to like let the skin breathe, you know um, I'm gonna put this in so yeah, I basically Have been skipping foundation most days and just using concealer so this is a newer concealer from Dermablend called the Cover Care. It is a full coverage concealer and oh my gosh, you guys, it is my fave. It is so great. I have the shades 15N and 23N. Um, so I'm gonna take 15N one and put just a little bit under my eye. And like this stuff, you guys, is like potent. You just need a very little bit, but I have been loving it. I've also from pregnancy had like some melasma you know like that like uh pigmentation kind of stuff coming to the surface um so I've been loving this because I I find I don't need foundation but it still gives me the coverage that I need can you hear how out of breath I am like oh my god I <sighs> gotta take a deep breath and then I'm gonna use the deeper shade 23n for a little bit up here and around my mouth mainly now I don't mind if some of my you know imperfections are coming through whatsoever my freckles and all that but I have just been loving this kind of like fresh faced makeup look and then I'm going to take my little sponge here and blend it in oh my gosh you guys so like where do we even start like it's like hello nice to re meet you right um I really really hope you guys have had a great summer even though you know it's been such a weird year it really has been right and believe me I understand if people are feeling a little bit strange being pregnant during this entire COVID pandemic like I found out I was pregnant uh, middle of January and of course you we not of course but we chose to not really like tell a lot of people until we were at that three month mark which was in April um and basically yeah like I have just been you know coping managing being pregnant from home um I'm very lucky that I've been able to work from home during this whole time um but yeah like it's just it really is a strange year and it has been like the longest nine months of my life but also like the fastest you know like it has gone by so fast but it's also I feel like Jenny, like finding out we were pregnant was like 10 years ago, you know? So there's just the concealer on. You can see like, even with that small amount I applied, I actually did somewhat kind of like blend it out. And there's like a very kind of like thin layer of coverage throughout my skin. And I just, I've been enjoying it. I like seeing some of the freckles on my forehead and I like it. Um, I have been using a little bit of powder. I've actually been using this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. Not that I'm like super in love with it, just you can see I'm almost like out of it. You guys, I've really, really been trying to like not shop as much, use up what I have. Um, Cause some other, like we've just had a lot going on this year, even like regard, like in addition to having a baby, um, which by the way, I, I'm ready for any day now um but in addition to having a baby we actually also uh have bought a house so we're building a new house we've been in this condo for almost five years now and it's been so great to us and we've loved it but of course just with you know 
a little one on the way. We just need some more space. Um, and so I've just like really been in that like nesting mode of like purging, decluttering, getting rid of so much stuff. Like that nesting feeling is very real. Um, and if you aren't familiar, like nesting, it's like an actual like biological thing that happens when you're pregnant, um, when before the baby arrives that like you want everything to be in place, you want everything cleaned, you just like want everything to be set up for the arrival of the baby. And I really, really have been feeling that um, the past like month or so. Um, and it's actually quite funny. Like I've been, you know, making lists of stuff that Brooks and I need to get done. And it's like weird things like organize cutlery drawer, organize utensil, like, you know, spatula drawer, clean laundry, Air, like it's like the baby cannot exist in this condo unless everything is it like perfectly in its place which is very silly and not true but it's just where I'm at so for makeup I've also really been like trying to purge get rid of stuff um and like and part of that is like not buying new stuff and it is so hard to not buy new stuff when you're sitting at home and online shopping is just you know a little too easy um, for bronzer, I've been using the L'Oreal Bronze Please. This is the one they came out with last year, but it is so nice, you guys. It just has the most beautiful undertone to it. It's not too light. It's not too dark for my skin tone. Um, and it has a slight satin finish to it, so it just looks really nice and natural on the skin. I actually have a backup one because I love it. But you can see I've been using it just constantly. But yeah, I have not posted a YouTube video since like May, April maybe, which is just crazy and disappointing in myself. But I also will say you guys that I was so sick. Like morning sickness is a real thing. And I was very, very ill for five months, like straight. Like I'm talking you guys like puking 20 times a day, could not get out of bed, like I was working from home and honestly like the COVID pandemic in a weird way like helped me because um, I was at home anyways and so like the little bursts of the very small time frame when I would have a little bit of energy or I'd feel okay is when I would get my work done even if that meant at like 11 at night you know but for the most part it was just awful and I even went on like the medication for you know nausea and like all that stuff and I just found it honestly didn't really help a lot um but kind of at that five month mark like 20 weeks kind of 21 22 weeks something really changed and I started to feel really great um so that's awesome and then uh oh my gosh like the people that are just sick the whole time like the women that are I, I don't even know I feel for you I feel so bad for you um because I feel like for me I didn't even really know that morning sickness could continue after the three month mark. I just didn't know. And I kept thinking like, okay, I can, I can make it to 12 weeks. I'll be fine. But then when it just didn't stop after that, it really was so hard. Like the struggle was real. Um, and then the second trimester, like I was well into my second trimester, honestly, but kind of like, uh, June, middle of June and July was so much better for me. Even August has been good. And now I'm just like very large. I'll show you guys actually. So now, like, as you can see, it's just a big belly. And it really is, it's so interesting how much like lack of balance I have. And I just like have no strength like to stand up. I feel like when I'm laying in bed, like if Brooks is around, he'll hoist me up. Like it's so funny, which I'm sure a lot of you guys already know all about that. But, um, yeah, I actually, so I'll be 39 weeks coming up here on Friday and I, and then I'm actually working this week. So I am officially on mat leave starting on Friday, which I could not be more excited for. I love my job. I'm gonna, it's, it's definitely like bittersweet, you know, but I feel like I decided on my dates when I was in my feeling really good, like in July and not realizing like, oh, like I probably should have taken a week or two to like rest before but it is what it is maybe I'll remember this for next time um but yeah I am due on the 24th so I'm due 
next week. Um, could be any day now, could still be a couple of weeks. We just don't know, right? I'm actually gonna use this palette, you guys, which I know is not available, it's so old. It's probably, you know, at this point, it's probably bad to use makeup this old, but you guys, this is like one of my all-time favorite palettes. This is the blush one, the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani collaboration. I also have the eyeshadow one, and they're just palettes I'll never get rid of, and I just love, and it is what it is. So if you have this, I encourage you to whip it out because it's so awesome, um, but obviously you can just use similar colors as well. What I've been doing is taking, what are these names called? Cherry, right here, this like cool toned pink, and OC, which is like this beautiful peachy color, and mixing them together for a really kind of light, fresh blush. And as you can see, I'm just like whipping it on. Guys, this summer when it comes to makeup, I'm sure a lot of you would agree, it's just like what's simple, what's fast to get her done, right? And then uh, there's a highlighter in here called Angel that I've also just been kind of dusting on. And while we have this palette open, I actually have just been taking um, both of those colors again, OC and Cherry, and putting them into my crease. And I love like kind of this pale, pale mauve color that it makes. You guys know how I love my cool tones. And I've been putting that in my crease, but also all over my lid, like just bringing it down. And then using just OC, kind of this pale, pale, pale orange, like a peach, putting that right on my lid. This isn't very fall inspired, you know? Gotta transition to some more fall colors, but for now, I've just been liking it. And then for brows, a lot of the time I've actually just been using like, you know, a little brow gel, like a gimme brow, or there's one, a brow sculpt from Maybelline that's really great. Um, but today for the video, I am gonna actually fill them in just using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette, I'm sure this one is. Oh, chocolate, in chocolate. Um, and then yeah, for those of you who don't know, who don't follow me on Instagram, uh, we're having a little girl, which I'm so happy about. Um, this room here, so this has, this room has always been kind of like, we have a two bedroom condo and the second bedroom has always been kind of like my office for work and then my makeup area and that kind of stuff. Um, and so I have converted her like a little, half of the room is now a nursery. Um, and you know, at first they sleep in a bath, like she'll be sleeping with us in our room, like in a little bassinet. So there isn't, her crib is not set up yet. We'll be moving to our new place in December, hopefully if it's ready. And then I'll get like a whole nursery set up there. Like it's kind of this weird feeling where we have this baby on the way, but I don't have like a full nursery and I, it gives me anxiety, but I also am like, no, like babies really just need, you know, a place to sleep. We have a rocking chair right here. We have like a change table set up on this dresser, um, a little clothing rack. Like we have everything we need, but like, I think just like Pinterest has ruined me. Pinterest has literally ruined all of us. Like I just want everything to be just so. And I feel like that's not how life is, you know? Sometimes you gotta just like roll with it. Um, Cause it wouldn't make sense, you know, we're, leaving in like two months to do a whole nursery setup. Um, but I can't wait to do that when we get to the new place. Did you guys notice as well how swollen my lips are? Like I look like I got some filler or something, but like my lips, my hands, my feet, like just swollen. There's, it's so funny. Like I, I'll keep the lips, but I would really like my hands and my feet to go back <laughs> to their normal size. I actually do not like this brow shade. I love a micro brow pencil, but this chocolate is like very red toned. I think the brunette one is what I usually have. And yeah, I was gonna say to you guys, like I have been, I know I've been so missing in action over on YouTube, which is, you know, not good. And honestly, 
I don't want to not do YouTube. Like, I really like YouTube, and I feel like I would love to do some, like, baby stuff and, you know, like, lifestyle things, like, especially while I'm on maternity leave. I know I'm going to be incredibly busy, but I also just know myself, and I feel like it's a great outlet for me, like a creative outlet, so don't give up on me quite yet. Um, but I've actually been keeping like in touch with a lot of you on Instagram. Um, and so for those of you who don't follow me there, feel free. Um, it's not like a beauty Instagram. I'm not posting about like makeup all the time and stuff. It's truly like just my life. And if you guys want to follow it, I'm more than happy to like have you there. Um, but yeah, a lot of you have even like told me you're pregnant around the same time, like we're due around the same time. So we've been like kind of catching up um, back and forth and um, yeah, like if you if you want to, um, you can follow me there because I've also gotten a lot of like YouTube comments on older videos in the over the summer of people being like, are you okay? What's going on? And which is so nice, like so nice that people are concerned. But yeah, come on over to Instagram. Very active over there. And yeah, it's, I do have like a beauty Instagram that I'm very inactive on, but my like personal Instagram, yeah, feel free if you want to follow me there. Um, this is a newer product from Maybelline called Color Strike, and it's a cream to powder eyeshadow pen. And when I first opened it, it is like very light. I'm like, oh my God, is there anything even in here? Um, this is in the shade Spark, and I have been loving this, you guys, for um, an inner corner highlight. It just is like, first of all, so easy to apply because it's on this little spongy guy. I don't really know how it comes out, like if you need to shake it maybe, but... Anyways, it's, this is how I'd recommend it. I don't necessarily think it's like a cream to powder. I think it's just like a little powder eyeshadow, but yeah, it's just like a nice little way to highlight. Now, a lot of days I have been obviously skipping eyeliner, but for today I have, I'm gonna put on a little bit of this um, Epic Ink Liner from NYX. This is just like a limited edition one, but it is in the shade, um, it's a black one. And um, yeah, I feel like sometimes if you just are doing, you know, a simple fresh face, minimal makeup, but then you have on like a nice liner, it can really kind of like finish things off. I'm just gonna apply this quickly and not talk so I don't make a huge mess of it. And then I'll BRB. Okay, not perfect, but it'll do. And then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I don't know why, but my eyelashes in, I'm assuming from pregnancy, have not been nice. Like they have, they're failing me. And I feel like my hair has grown a lot and it's like thick. I know it'll, you know, postpartum it'll like fall out and stuff, but I don't know what's up with these eyelashes. So I've been finding curling them has been helping a little bit. And then I recently got this Maybelline Lash Stiletto. Um, I feel like a lot of people were talking about it because of Madison from The Bachelor, and it's pretty good. It's a good mascara, but I've been liking mixing it also with just another one because I find this is more lengthening, and then um, this one, for example, from L'Oreal is a little bit more volumizing, so I like to layer them up. This candle smells so good. It is leaves from Bath and Body Works. So between leaves and sweater weather, those are like my go-to fall candles. And it just, oh my God, it's the best smell. Like you guys, I, I don't love the super sweet smells, like the all the pumpkin ones and whatnot. I feel like they give me a headache. But if you guys are looking for like a really kind of just like warm, cozy fall candle. Check out leaves or sweater weather. It's basically all I have going on for all of September and October and like even into November. And yeah, highly recommend. So that one was the L'Oreal Age Perfect one. And then the Lash Stiletto is a little bit more spiky and I think it helps with some length. Don't wait for your mascara to dry in between coats, or at least that's what I like to do. I find if you wait too long in between, it gets kind of like crusty and um, clumpy. And then lastly, you guys, these lifter glosses from Maybelline are amazing. I have two colors. This one is a little bit deeper. I have amber and then I also have reef, but these are amazing. I don't really know like what to compare them to. They just have the perfect amount of gloss, 
like shine, I mean, without being sticky. They smell good and they're super easy. So I definitely recommend these. I kind of looked like a real housewife with this headband in or like Gossip Girl or something. Um, but that's it, you guys. It has been so nice to spend my morning chatting with you, catching up. I have missed you guys. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know how you're doing. Maybe if you have like a video recommendation, just anything at all. I, um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, um, you might not see me for a little bit because I might be having a baby. Fingers crossed, I'm ready. So send that, send some good vibes my way. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully see you guys sooner than later. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it and subscribe if you haven't, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.